I'm Kayleen McCabe, and today we're going to be building a very simple cabinet. I have my drawings and measurements all planned out, which you can do with pencil and paper or a design software like SketchUp. Then we're going to be cutting the plywood with a track saw, drilling holes for our hidden pocket hole system, and then finishing off with a little bit of sandpaper and some stain. So let's get to work. Before I actually start making my cuts, I'm going to take a quarter inch off of the side of plywood. A lot of times when plywood has been moved around, the edges have been damaged a little bit, so I'm going to start with a nice clean working edge by taking that quarter inch off. So now that I've cut off the quarter inch, I have a nice clean edge, so when I attach pieces together, it will fit nice and snug. One thing to keep in mind before you make a cut is which side do you place your saw blade? A saw blade can be about an eighth of an inch thick, and if you are cutting on the wrong side of your measurement, you could actually reduce your piece by that much. When you're building a cabinet, you will find that there are some measurements that are consistent. So what I've done with this cabinet is I've cut the width needed for the sides and the top and bottom cut and that way I will have less scrap and be able to put to use my full sheet of plywood a little bit better. When you're making a bunch of cuts like this for the cabinet, I take the time to label all of my pieces so after I'm done cutting, I know exactly what I have. Now that I have the sides and the top and bottom cut, the next step is to drill pocket holes so that I can attach these two pieces together like so. Now that the pocket holes are cut, I'm going to make sure that the other surface is free of debris. I'm going to add a thin bead of glue down and then attach the two pieces together with screws. If you have a little bit of glue that seeped out, try to wipe it off while it's wet. Glue isn't always a great thing to try to finish over. So the basic shell to our cabinet is complete, but really this basic shell could be just about anything. It could be a bookshelf, a really large drawer for a really big bed. When you're done with this, you can add in shelving on the inside, doors on the outside, even a drawer, edge banding, face frame, paint it, stain it. Really this simple box can open up a lot of opportunities to build some really cool things.